That just blurred my skin like I've never seen before. Oh my god, I'm gagged. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to film. I just got back from vacation. I have a little bit of a tan. This is tan for me. And in today's video, we are trying a ton of new makeup. We have the new Michaela X Glam Light Pop 2 palette. We have the brand new reformulated Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, as well as new primers, new highlighters, new bronzers, blushes, cream blushes, skincare, everything. I'm very excited to dive into all this new makeup and let you guys know what is worth your money, what performs well, what is not so hot. But as always, before we dive into today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are already subscribed, hit the little notification bell and you'll be notified every single time I post. Seriously, subscribe. Hit the bell. But without any further ado, let's dive into today's video trying a ton of new makeup. Alrighty guys, as always, we are going to start with brows and I don't have a new brow pencil, so I'm going to go in with one of my holy grails. This is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. This is $3. It's absolutely incredible. And what I love most about this specifically is I get it in the shade Taupe, and it is the most universal brow pencil. I use this on so many people from like blonde to dark brown hair, and it just works for everybody. I don't understand how, but it's incredible. All right, brows are on and eyelids are primed. Now we're going in with the Michaela X Glam Light Pot 2 Palette. I am so excited to use this. I've never used a Glam Light palette other than both of Michaela's, and all I can say is Glam Light's formula. I don't know the amount of input Michaela had on the formula, but regardless, the eyeshadow formula in both of these palettes is unbelievable. Truthfully, the best shimmers in any eyeshadow palette I've ever used. The mattes also blend like a dream, but let's open this up and let me show it to you. So this is the entire palette. It is skewed much more green and blue than the original, but my god, the shades in here are to die for. I feel like everybody that's been doing looks with this palette has been doing the greens, obviously, because the whole collection is very green. So I'm thinking I kind of want to do like a purple, blue, gold, just change it up a little bit. All right, so we're going to start out with this lavender pink shade here called Mama Yang. And on a more pinched brush, this is a Morphe M433. We're going to dip into this and we're going to start stamping this into our crease. Okay, now we're going to go into this darker purple shade in Mimu, and on a much more detailed brush, we're going to dip into that and start by stamping this on our outer corner. And once we feel like most of that is deposited, I'm going to really push this into the crease and start deepening up the crease, just the socket. We don't want to bring this too high. All right, now we're going to go in with this really dark purple in the shade Batty. It's like the darkest shimmer purple in the palette. And with my finger, I'm going to dip in and press this really close to the lash line on the outer, like 20% of the lid. And now on that detailed brush, I'm gonna dip back into the first transition shade we picked, and I'm gonna use that just to blend that out into our transition and the darker purple so everything looks seamless. All right, now on a flat blending detailed brush, I'm going to mix Cloud9 and You which is this bluey kind of purple, very deep. And we are gonna put this right after the darker purple we put out there, up to the crease. Switch back to my detailed blending brush and once again, run this in the crease just to marry everything together. All right, and now for the star of the show, we're gonna go in with this gorgeous blue in I Love You. Oh my God, it's stunning. And on that same Sigma brush, we're just gonna pack this, blending it into the dark blue and not taking it all the way in because we're gonna leave a little bit of dead space in the very center for a gold. All right, and last but not least, Kind of. We're gonna go in with this shade Gold AF, and as you see over here, 
we're putting that all the way in on the inner corner, feathered and blended into the blue. All right, now that the eyes are done, we're gonna do a little bit of liner just to conceal our lash band. I don't wanna do a lot of liner because I don't wanna cover the shadow. We just spent a long time doing it. But we have a new liner. This is from Essence. This is the Lash Princess Liner. Same packaging as the Lash Princess Mascara, which I love. So let's see. Ooh, okay, it's a much bigger tip than I thought. Okay, so that's the liner on. It's not the worst eyeliner I've ever used. It goes on very well, like it doesn't skip, but it's not very opaque. Like it's kind of translucent. It just doesn't give the best. See, you, I think you can almost tell from that. See how it's not really that deep, like pigmented opacity. So I just think there are more pigmented liners like the NYX. Uh, epic liner and yeah this is not my favorite now I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and lashes I'm gonna use the city color cosmetics lashes in the cut step and we'll be right back to start the complexion all right eyes are done I love the way this looks god this palette is so incredible so far all I have on the skin is a serum this is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops I think that's what it's called but now for moisturizer I'm going in with something I'm so excited about this is from K skin so this is the skincare line from model Winnie Harlow and this is the Isle glow face lotion with SPF 40 so I love that she developed this skin line because of her vitiligo she really was like torn whenever she wore skincare on her darker pigmentation she would get that white cast so everything has amazing SPF in it but what I'm most excited about is the glow this gives to the skin so it's not clear it almost has like a tan creamy kind of appearance to it and this is what we're gonna use to moisturize Wow look at the glow that this gives to the skin this is literally almost like a glow, like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Like, that's how good the glow on this moisturizer is. And there's an SPF 40 in it. Like, that's insane. If you have dry, mature, or even combination skin, this would be a game changer for you. I don't know if you have oily, if this is really gonna, like, make your shine come through. But that will be TBD. I'll update you whether this does. And now for priming the T-zone, where I just want to minimize pores, we have a new primer from Yuma Beauty. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the Trippin' Smooth Face Primer. It's more lotion-y feeling, like it's not like putty primer, but it definitely has that blurring look that a lot of those putty primers have. So we're just gonna put this in the T-zone where my pores are biggest. It feels really hydrating. I actually, like, it feels so hydrating. I want to let it dry down a bit before we go in with foundation. All right, now that the primer is dried down, we are going in with the brand new reformulated Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So before we go in with this, let me read you some of the claims now that it's been reformulated. So as you can tell, it's a new packaging for functionality and sustainability because I think the first one was the thing that it had that pump and you were supposed to dip your beauty blender in and it kind of just got a little bit messy. So this makes sense. Developed with a high speed hyper whip process, oil free formula that hugs the skin and helps improve both tone and texture. The finish is an effortless blend, ultra light feel, the velvety matte finish with a multi-dimensional effect like naturally gorgeous healthy skin it comes in 40 shades and claims to be full coverage it's infused with hyaluronic acid love that and white birch extract so the skin never looks dull all right cool I am super excited to try this so we are gonna put a little bit on the back of my hands and obviously we're using a beauty blender to apply it because it's really formulated to work well with the beauty blender oh I should also mention I'm using shade 1.40 n light neutral all right so we're just gonna dot some on the skin and get to blending. OK, 
Okay, so this is half the face done. This looks gorgeous. A couple things, I don't think this is full coverage. This definitely is more of a medium coverage. I love it though, because like my freckles are peeking through here. It's still covering all of my redness. I don't mind, like if I had acne, I don't really want a foundation that's gonna cover everything anyway, because I think it's too heavy. I would rather go in with something like this and then build up the coverage with a concealer. But this is not a matte finish either. I definitely would say it's kind of a soft matte, but to me it's actually more of a natural finish. I don't think it's overly radiant, but it is like really nice. Like it looks like my skin. Honestly, it looks like a second skin. And the other thing I'm noticing is it looks really good on my pores here. This looks awesome. That also might be the Yuma Beauty primer, but this is looking sickening. Let's see if the coverage is buildable. Just in areas I need a little more coverage. Yes, coverage is definitely buildable. I built up the coverage beautifully there, but it doesn't look heavy, cakey at all. This is really pretty so far. All right, this is the Beauty Blender Balance Foundation blended out all over the skin. And another thing I noticed now that I finished one side was I actually filmed this side on my camera phone. Like, so I took a minute to do both sides. And this side is freshly applied and see how there's more radiance and glow to it. But then this side, as it sits, it definitely starts to dry down to that soft matte, which I really like because I feel like it goes on so hydrating, but then will dry down to that soft matte, opposed to going on straight with that soft matte and being too dry. And I mean, I am blown away at how good my pores look. I love the coverage of this. It is a gorgeous, normal, medium, natural finish. I'm so honestly over full coverage foundations. I just think they look too heavy. I want to dial it back and I'm loving the way this looks. All right, now for cream bronzer, I am trying the Say Beauty. This is the Sun Melt natural cream bronzer in light bronze. I have never tried this, so I'm super excited to get this on the skin. So I normally go in with my beauty blender. Let's see if it literally is like, that is really freaky. Look at this. Dipping in, nothing on the sponge, and it's like not even barely coming off my hand. So I guess you need to use a stippling brush. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna go in with a stippling brush. This is the Makeup by Ariel A24. Let's get this on the brush. Okay, it's kind of the same thing. Am I doing something wrong? All right, let's start building this up. Okay, this is very natural. It's really not pigmented, but not in a bad way. Like, it really takes you, to, like, a little bit of time to build this up on the skin, but it's a really beautiful hydrating texture. I feel like you would really like this if you want something super natural to not overdo it, but it is there, no doubt. I mean, it looks really pretty. Okay, so the Say Beauty was nice. This is everything finished. I actually went and warmed it up with my Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit because it was too red for me, the tone, and I typically like a little bit more of a warm cream bronzer at least. I'm fine with a cool tone, but I don't like the red tone, not on my skin. I think that would be really good for you if you have olive skin tone, because the olive undertone is going to be green, so counterbalancing that with red will neutralize it a little bit more for you, but I'm definitely neutral with pink in me, so when I put anything red on my skin, since I'm pink already, it just makes me feel more pink and red, like almost sunburn rather than tan, if that makes sense. But now for contouring, I picked up from Ulta Beauty, this is the Moisturizing Foundation Stick, and they actually have contour shades. So this is the shade I picked up, and it is very cool tone. You can see it's much more gray, and we are actually going to do a little cream contouring. So I'm gonna deposit that on my hand and dip in with my beauty sponge. Wow, that is really pretty. That blended out like a dream. And look at that cool tone chisel that that gave. Look at this side with the contour compared to just the bronzer. All right, so the concealer is blended out. This went on top of the Beauty Blender Foundation flawlessly. Now we're going in with a cream blush from Trixie Cosmetics. First of all, this packaging, can you even? Look how friggin' cute this is. This is in the shade Doll Face. It's a gorgeous, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Not really hot pink, it's like more muted, 
but with the cool tone eye look, this is gonna look gorgeous. Okay, I blended that out with my stippling brush. I'm just softening the edges with the Beauty Blender. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. This color is so nice. Look how, like, just because it looks intimidating in the pan, it really just mutes down and is that gorgeous pink. The hydration is stunning. This went over everything absolutely flawless. All right, now to set the face, we have a new powder from Yuma Beauty. This is that viral powder that the packaging is like totally innovative and cool where you twist it and the powder comes out. I don't know what this is called, Trippin' Smooth Powder. Okay, so you twist it, the bottom, huh, and now it's closed. But when you twist it open, powder comes in the center, and when you twist it closed, it doesn't, so you don't have a bunch of loose powder. So as you can see, this is the shade that was sent to me. This is way too dark for my under eyes, so I set that with my Huda Beauty in Cupcake, the lightest. But we are gonna do this on the face, and I normally set with a powder puff, so Let's dip into this powder. As always, I'm just gonna work it into the powder puff, okay? And let's see what this does to my pores on the side of my nose. I really hope this doesn't mess anything up because I'm loving the way this is looking. Um, that just blurred my skin like I've never seen before. Oh my God, I'm gagged. Oh my God, my skin looks Literally, it actually made my pores disappear. Okay, I just pressed that powder out and I'm in actual disbelief. Like it literally erased my pores. Like I've never had a powder do this in my life. I'm gonna insert a iPhone video footage of this because I wanted to show you in the harshest, most like unflattering natural light so you could see what I'm talking about. Look at my pores on the side of my face and then pressing this with my powder puff technique, literally erasing them. Like I, I can't, and then even on my forehead, like everywhere that I have pores, it actually erases. My skin has never looked smoother. I'm flabbergasted from that. I don't think I'm gonna recover, but let's move on. So for bronzer, we have a new bronzer from Sigma. It's their matte bronzers. These look stunning. Let's go ahead and reinforce our bronzer. Okay, these are looking gorgeous. They're blending like butter. Wow, these are really pretty. Look at that blended out. They are super buttery. This is in the shade medium, by the way. Wow, gorgeous. Now for contour powder, I bought this little Essence contouring like palette and I loved how cool tone this is. Let me show you compared to the bronzer. Like you can see the difference of how warm this is compared to that contour color is super cool. So I'm gonna take this on my brush just to reinforce and chisel underneath that contour. Wow, that contoured the face beautifully and it's so affordable because it's essence. Now for blush, we are sticking with Trixie Cosmetics. This is the Summer of Love blush palette stunning. I'm obsessed. We're going to use the shade in the middle here, or actually I might mix the two. Oh my god, gorgeous. So even though this side chick is so like dark in the pan, don't be intimidated because as you can see, even mixing them together, it really is buildable. So it's not going to be too heavy right out of the gate. Oh my god, look at her. Alrighty, and because I'm so obsessed with this Yuma Beauty Powder, I kind of want to see if I can carve out my contour with it. So I just dipped in. I'm going to leave it on my powder puff a little heavier. And let's see. Okay, so that really didn't sharpen things up. So I don't think there's actually much coverage to that. Like it's not going to, I don't know, the way a brightening powder would work. That really is more for smoothing, which Lord knows it did. Let's not demand any more out of her. She's already perfect. So I'm gonna do another powder to do that and then we'll finish up the lower lash line. All right, so the lower lash line all the way on the bottom, I ran the shade. Pat Rice, and now I'm gonna take Me Mo on a much more detailed brush, and I'm going to put this on the outer half of the lower lash line just to deepen up that outer half. I don't wanna bring it in too far. Maybe a little bit of that I Love You shade, that blue. Let me spray it just so we don't get any fallout. Yeah, just right in the center. 
leaning on the inside. Oh, wow, that blue looks really pretty on the inside. Oh, I almost forgot about this. This is also from Sigma. This is one of their new highlighters. Stop. And we are gonna use this to highlight the inner corner and the face. Let's pop this right on the inner corner. That is stunning. I can't even describe this gold. It literally is like a brick of gold. I don't know why this comes to mind, but like Egyptian, like Cleopatra gold is what I'm thinking in my head. I don't know. Woo! Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to blend this with my finger just to soften it a bit. Wow, that is really finely milled and wow, it's accentuating no texture. Even though it's that darker gold, this isn't too dark on me. Like even turning my head, I'm not getting a cast from it, which is really nice. Wow, that is stunning. All right, now for lips, I just got this ColourPop In The Nude Lippy Stick Vault. For $32, you are getting 10 lipsticks and it's like any nude you would ever need. Here are all the colors swatched. Like it ranges from very pales to pinky peaches and browns, terracottas, and there's a mixture of formulas and everything. So it ranges from creams to mattes. So you're getting the best of all worlds. Out of the vault, I'm going to go in with shade, short sure thing. But first, I'm going to go in with my tried and true trusty KKW liner in Nude One. If you like this liner, there is a complete dupe for this because I don't think this exists anymore. It's the LA Girl Precision Lip Liner in Bare. I have it, I love it, but I ran out of it because I use it all the time. So there is a dupe for this if you want to get the same color as this. All right, now we're going to go in with the shade Sure Thing. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I think I might take the lightest shade in the collection, which is Dream Date, just to kind of brighten up the center. All right, now I'm gonna take my tried and true. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. We're gonna go with the brow side and set our brows. I've said it so many times in my videos, but this is the only drugstore brow gel I found that dries down totally clear doesn't dry white and crusty and holds the brows in place all day. And last but not least, we're finishing off with some setting spray. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I've been actually using this for a little bit now, as you can see, and I really love this, like, especially even for wetting your brush for eyeshadow because it has that grip to it. So you wanna shake it well. Let's go ahead and set the face. Oh, amazing mister on this. Okay, then just take my beauty sponge and press that into the skin. This makes all the baby hairs lay down. It really makes the powder melt into the skin. And that is it for trying new makeup. Let's kind of go through the gamut and see what we loved, see what we didn't. The Michaela X Glam Light Palette, Pot 2. Unbelievable. I mean, I've said it already. Her eyeshadow formula and Glam Light, like the shimmers in this, are some of the nicest, most stunning shimmers I've ever used in my life. You cannot go wrong with either one of these palettes. The K-Skin Isle Glow Face Lotion with SPF 45. Just to tell you too, like I took a huge break in between filming the beginning and end of this video. So I've had this makeup on now for like seven hours, I wanna say, and nothing is getting shiny. I was nervous with the glow that this has, whether it was gonna peek through. Unbelievable. Look at my skin and to get SPF 45 in a face lotion with the glow, unbelievable. Then we have the Yuma Beauty Trippin' Smooth Face Primer, amazing too. Like my pores look amazing even before I set it with that powder. It still looked incredible, like it really did blur. Everything is super smooth. This is awesome too. The Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, I mean, I'm not kidding, the longer I wear this, I think I may have found another holy grail foundation, especially because I crease on my forehead so bad. You can see I have lines like no one's business and relaxed right now. Like the fact that I have no 
creasing in this. By now, normally when I'm filming, the creases develop. I know if it's coming and I have no creasing in this. Up close, my skin looks gorgeous. I love that this starts out so hydrating and natural and then dries down to that super, super soft matte. Like you could honestly get away with this even if you have dry skin as long as you exfoliate and just hydrate well. I think the fact that I coupled this with that glowy face lotion and the super hydrating Yuma Beauty Primer to die for this I'm so happy. I mean, whatever they did to reformulate this, this is 10 out of 10, chef's kiss. The Say Beauty, we have the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This is not for me. It's really, really natural. Like it wasn't even picking up on the Beauty Blender. It was kind of picking up on the stippling brush, but the tone is way too red for me. I think again, if you have olive skin and want a super natural cream bronzer, you would probably love this, but this is gonna be a pass for me. The Trixie Cosmetics Cream Blush, this is to die for, I mean, Oh, I could have put 10 pounds of this on. This is so hydrating, went on the skin gorgeous, powder went over this beautifully. This is in doll face. They did send me another one, which is like a super, almost like lavender, like purpley. I think this on, like if you have more medium to deeper skin complexions would be stunning. I love purple blush on darker complexions. Now this, this Yuma Beauty Trippin' Smooth Powder is un- Believable. I'm not an ounce of hyperbole here. I have not been this blown away by a makeup product in I don't even know how long. You saw it in the video, but literally erased my pores and texture and still up close. My skin looks stunning because of this. This is so finely milled when you open it, if there's powder in it, it literally comes out almost like smoke. That's how finely milled it is. And again, I think this is stunning on a brush. I hope there's a lighter shade to set my under eyes because I think this would be gorgeous on the under eyes, but I really prefer powder puff method because as you saw, it just literally erased my texture. This is 10 out of 10, favorite setting powder, front and center on my desk, unbelievable. Then we have the Sigma bronzer. This was stunning, went on so creamy. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The Sigma highlighter, this was to die for. Still, look at that. This almost has a cream feel to it. I can't even describe it. Like, as you swipe it, it goes on like a cream. It's so beautiful. Then we have the Trixie Cosmetics Summer of Love Blush Palette. This was incredible. I mixed these two shades. So just to show you, don't be intimidated by this one. I went in with more of this because I wanted the cool tone with my eye look. This one is more of a like coral peachy. So this I would definitely do with a more warm look, but I combined the two and this again, I could have put 90 pounds of this on. The formula was stunning. It had a super natural glow to it. The Essence Duo Contouring Palette. This was amazing. So hard to find a good cool tone powder. And this like contoured like nobody's business. Like look at the shadow, the chisel. Absolutely incredible for how cheap this is. And this is in lighter skin and then there is a darker one. So if you have deeper skin, there is one for you as well. And lastly, this ColourPop Nude Lip Vault. I mean, $32 for 10 lipstick shades. This is every single lip color you would ever need. And this feels so creamy on the lips. Oh my God, like it just looks stunning. Wow. All right, guys, that is it. I'm blown away. Like, I can't believe we only had one product. The Say Beauty Bronzer is the only thing I really didn't like. And it wasn't even that it was bad. It just wasn't my preference. But everything else is incredible. I never get this lucky. Like, I really found some holy grail things. I would say my tops from this video are the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, the Reformulation, and that Yuma Beauty Trip and Smooth Powder. <sighs> but yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you had fun watching this video. We got so many hits out of this. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any new makeup that you know of that maybe slipped through the cracks for me so I can pick it up and try it. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed, hit the little notification bell next to the subscription button and you'll be notified every single time I post. I post every day. Wherever you guys are, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.